Well, hey there, my name's Sophia, and I want to talk to you today about false twins. Now, I've had loads of emails about this. This is probably um, the most um, emails I get is to know if, you know, what's going on with their person? Is it a false twin? Why are they treating me like that? So I want to go over that today because I think it is very important. Now I've looked on YouTube and there's loads of different versions about it and you know signs of a false twin and things like that but in my opinion there is no false that is the third dimension terminology of someone who you may or may not think is your person there is no wrong or right false or real it's just what your perception is it to be the confusion I think lays because and this is with most of the feminine even if it's more feminine in the male is that most women are created more emotional so with a twin flame the perception from a feminine's point of view is that the guy for example should understand that we're twin flames we've got this deep connection so that's where the confusion lays where you know how can they treat me like shit basically you know because he's my twin flame so if someone's treating me shit and they're supposed to be my twin flame then they can't be my twin flame that's where the confusion lays that's your perception of how your twin flame to you you feel that is to you your twin flame so you want your person you want them that way but in reality you're still projecting the third dimensional control of what you want onto your person therefore that is what the the terminology of third dimension of what false twin is but as you can hopefully you understand that that is still you placing control your rules your wants on another and if they don't show up like that then you perceive them not to be it you see it's really a twin flame is in essence supposed to be someone to you're both supposed to get to the point of unconditional love and <laughs> I understand because this concept was created on the fifth dimension and when you're on the third dimension it's really really hard especially if you are feminine because feminine are more emotional so we emotionally tied and have that like I said expectation but we're supposed to be unconditional love so if your person say for example is a drug addict and they're constantly coming to you and you know they're on drugs instead of thinking well why are they still doing that because of we're twin flames you're supposed to feel them feel and understand and have empathy and then set your boundaries if you are arguing with your person, you're still third dimensional. If you are placing blame on your person, you're still third dimensional. Any of that kind of character is third dimensional. If you say, well, you're doing this, then, then it's not gonna work. How you, a twin flame is supposed to be is you're supposed to love yourself, focus on yourself, have unconditional love, your person, if they still come to you, like I said, as a drug, drug addict, for example, you're supposed to set your boundaries and say, I will not accept this anymore. Oh, I'm not having this. You're drunk, you're coked up, whatever, and then back away. Come to me when you're clean and know that they're clean. You um, Or know that they're not clean. You have a knowing. 
you see what happens is you turn a blind eye when you know there's something wrong and then that allows your person to continue it so that's why it's all internal not external that's where the confusion lays where it's like you're just expecting your person not to be something because of the label when it's not about that it's about your person showing up you knowing that they're high or drunk and setting your boundaries and that comes to a point of when you love yourself but if you don't completely love yourself you will blame your person and that's where the confusion back again to the false twin now if you do go into loving yourself aligning meditating whatever makes you feel better then it won't be so painful when they show up drunk when they show up high when they show up lying the thing is is that if you're not working on yourself you will argue more and you have to be at a point where they will feel that you're serious because you're aligned with them and if you're just oh fuck off go away you're drunk or whatever they know they can come back to you if you work on yourself and you're like i'm not dealing with that right now i've got my own mission i've got my own purpose i've got my own stuff to do they will feel they were losing you at the same time it won't matter as much to you when they're hurting you now i'm not saying it's not going to hurt you but you'll be stronger if you love yourself to say i will not accept that and push him away or push her away therefore she'll be like then that will give them the choice to choose you if you're going back in that pattern of expecting them to be clean or be like this or that is the twin flame is deep 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 love without you know that's for sure deep connection a deep love but yin and yang as above so below black and white whatever so the opposite to that is deep pain so loving yourself kind of softens that pain so it's not so bad for you when they do it because it's a twin flat until you get in union with your person this will constantly happen there will be a battle so the loving yourself helps you protect yourself so it's not so painful from the battle it's nothing to do with false twin or not then you make the decision or this is called the free will experience they make a decision to change to be with you say for example quit drugs or you make a decision you've had enough free will experience so you choose i don't want them that doesn't mean it's false or not it just means that that is your decision but you can't get to that decision until you love yourself and once you love yourself you can say well that's my twin but they were not ready to change yet so i'm getting on doing my thing or you might meet someone else because you're in the place of self-love which is why twin flames go with soulmates because the other one is not ready yet it doesn't mean that it's a false twin or whatever that's that's not that's irrelevant the point is you're the twin you're the twin flame you know how you feel this is about you everyone who's <laughs> on youtube should be and most of them do say this is about you this twin flame journey is all about you about you loving yourself that is the key you are the twin flame don't worry about your person doesn't matter if he is or not or false or whatever what he's doing if you're a twin flame you're supposed to go into self-love work on yourself work on your mission then you will get to the knowing of how to quote unquote treat your person which is the best way 
which will not affect you because you're setting your boundaries. If you feel you don't know what's happening or they're doing wrong to you or anything like that, you just need to meditate, go back within, work on yourself, focus on you. That's all that you need to do really. So in my opinion, the concept of false twin is not really a concept of a false twin or not because you can date someone, have that deep connection and they just don't align, that's it. They just don't align, it's nothing to do with false or not. The fact is you're the quote unquote label of a twin flame, so you focus on you. So I just wanted to do this short audio about that because I've had loads of emails and I've been trying to focus more on the emails now because um, hopefully that helps more people but so many people were asking about this so I thought I'll put it out there instead on the audio so more people can hear it so hopefully this is uh, beneficial for someone and thanks for listening